Hello and welcome to another Learn Learn Python tutorial. In this tutorial I'm going to show you how you can use Python to create SQLite 3 databases and tables. So first thing you need to do is you need to open up a terminal or command shell. Um, if you're in Linux you could just open up terminal. I'm in Windows so you need to right click on the start menu and choose command prompt. And it'll open up a terminal like this. Uh, what you're going to need to do is you're going to need to navigate to the um, the, the directory in which you want to actually create the database. So in my case, it is uh, this one. And once you're in the correct folder, you can just start up Python as normal. There we go. Perfect. All done. So in order to um, in order to create the database, we need to use the SQLite 3 module. So we do import SQLite 3. There we go. Well done. And so if, this is the module we're going to use. It's got all of the uh, tools to connect to the database. And the next thing we do is we create a connection to the database file that we want to store all of our tables in. So db equals sqlite3.connect and then the name of the file. So I'm going to call this test1.db. There we go. Easy as that. Now the good news about this line of code is that uh, one or two things will happen. It will, If it can't find the file, it will create the file. If it can find the file, then it will just open the file. In fact, if we go here to the folder now, there it is, test1.db is there. Good. So we've uh, we've connected to the database, which is good. And now we're going to create our first table. Uh, we're going to be working through an example of creating, say, a contact list or something like that. So it's a nice, simple example that shows off the different features. So how do we do that? Well, c dot execute. Oops, can't do c dot execute. So we say what c is. Um, we also need to create a cursor. The cursor is the object that executes the SQ, uh, SQLite code. And then we can do c.execute and we can create a new table. Just finish typing this and I'll talk you through exactly what's happening here. There we go. Okay, so perfect. So, what we got here, okay, so we're saying, okay, let's create a new table if not exists. So, this line of code, you're probably running that line of code in a, in a bigger program when you actually write your full progress, which we'll do in a bit. Um, so you don't always want to create a context table. You just want to say, okay, if there's not a context table, let's create one. Otherwise, just don't do anything, which is fine. And what we need to say here is the name of the columns that we're going to add. So we're going to add a name column, which is going to be text, an age column, which is going to be an integer, which is a whole number, an email column, which again is going to be text, and a telephone column, which is also going to be text. I've put telephone as text rather than integer because telephone might claim, uh, contain pluses or brackets or uh, you know spaces or something like that. So, and you don't need to use the functionality that's associated with an integer, like adding and dividing. You don't add telephone numbers and stuff like that. So there we go, and uh, you press enter, and it will have created that table. What we also need to do now is, if we've done that, let's just db dot commit and that means save the changes to the database so we should now have created a table uh, with the, those four columns but how do we find out if we have actually created it or not well there's two ways you can do this you can either use a command line browser uh, and type into command line sql commands to do that which i can show you now so we open up another command line there we go. I'll go back to the folder that was in. And if we do DIR, you'll see in this folder 
I've already added an sqlite3.exe file. In Windows, uh, it's not installed by default, so you've got to download and drag that into the folder that you want to use it in, or you can add it to the path, but I'm just being lazy and added it to the folder I want to use it in for the moment. And I can just do sqlite3, and it will open up the database. And let's, uh, so it'll open up sqlite3, and then here it's given me a little hint to say, by the way, you should have used this um, with a the name of a database. So dot open, and it's called test1.db. There we go. So we should have opened the correct table. And now if we do dot table, it should tell me there it is that there is a context table, um, and we can find out that it's. Let's see, if we do the pragma call, prag, pragma space table underscore info um, contacts there you go and it displays the column it's at each of the columns so it's got a name column which is text and age an email and a telephone column so it's got all four of those uh, if you want to use your command line in, in Linux that's pretty much all you've got unless you download something um, but I tend to use the command line because it's already pre-installed in Linux and it's good practice. In Windows, uh, you've got a couple of options. You can either use this SQLite 3, but you've got to download it, which is this one here. I'll put a link in the video. Or if you want, um, if you're new to all this, it's a good idea if you start with the SQLite browser. Uh, it's free of charge. You could download the Windows uh, version or a Mac version. And it is actually, it's really quite good. If I just go, um, I don't know, DB browser. So I've already installed it on my machine. We could just open the database, go to the folder that we want, test one, there we go. And you can see that that table is there. And if we browse the data on the table, you can see all of those columns. So you can use either of those, uh, whichever you wish to use. Just download them, I'll put the links in the video. So there we go, that's how you create a database and um, oh, actually, one more thing, actually, before we finish. Uh, at the end of your program, once you commit to the database, at the end of your program, uh, you should always close the connection as well. Oops. So db.close. And that's now closed the database connection. So if you wanted to do something else, you'd have to reopen it. Um, but there we go. So that's creating a database and creating a table using Python. Uh, later in my videos we'll do a full walkthrough of how to do a contacts list using a full program so just keep going through it's going to be about video five or six depending on where we get finished. Okay thank you very much.